Good evening. Emergency services in Devon declared a major incident this afternoon after a large fire broke out on Dartmoor. Dozens of firefighters from 10 crews have been tackling the flames on multiple fronts near Yelverton to try to stop it spreading further. Well, our reporter Sam Blackledge is live at the scene for us tonight. Sam, what's the latest? Well, thankfully, the flames have now been completely extinguished up here on the moors. But you can see the damage they've left behind. All this blackened and scorched vegetation really gives you an idea of how serious this fire was. It started at about midday today and very quickly police were forced to close the main road between Plymouth and Yelverton because smoke was drifting across the road, making it tricky conditions for drivers. In terms of the cause of the fire, well, it's not yet clear. Around this time of year, we do see an awful a lot of what's called swaling, which is controlled burning of the vegetation by the commoners to keep it to a controlled level. Earlier on, I spoke to Matthew Head from Devon and Somerset Fire and Rescue, and he gave us the very latest update. We're looking into the cause with the police. Um, obviously, we've had a lot of swaling and we work locally with the commoners to ensure that that's done in a controlled fashion. Um, there were multiple seats of fire. For the crews, it was really difficult. There was lots of hard work. Um, wildfires are, are inherently arduous. Um, they responded very quickly and actually managed to um, extinguish that fire quite quickly. So the investigations will continue. Two things to bear in mind. The first is the wind. It is still pretty breezy up here on the moors this evening. And the other thing, if I can just bring you down here and show you just how dry this vegetation is. I can just grab a handful of this and show you that when this does get tinder dry like this and catches fire, it can spread very, very quickly. We're expecting an update from the police and the fire service in terms of what exactly caused this fire over the coming days. OK, Sam Blackledge live in Yelverton. Thank you.